So the Motor City Machine Guns are finally going to debut tonight on SmackDown, and I'm not going to hold you. I am really excited about this happening. They've been one of my favorite tag teams across all promotions for the past 15 years, and I think they're going to be a great addition to that tag team division. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm a huge advocate for the tag team division, and I've been crying, complaining, moping, whining about the fact that WWE does not seem to care about their tag team division, let alone the titles that they have there. It seems to always be relegated to factions but in the past week it seems like they're starting to change their tune they had the return of the war raiders going back to their classic black and gold era of themselves i love that they started the tournament for the titles on raw and now we got the integration of the motor city machine guns on smackdown which is adding so much depth to the tag team division as a whole but the interesting thing is when i bring up the motor city machine guns to wrestling fans regardless of how long they've been watching it they either don't know who they are or they don't understand why it's is big or important that they're coming to SmackDown. And that's fine. Everybody doesn't watch every promotion all the time. But here's the thing. I'm going to give you a quick summary of who they are. And then I'm going to explain to you guys why I feel like they are a huge addition to the tag team division and to WWE as a whole. The Motor City Machine Guns hail from D-Town, Detroit, Michigan, also known as the Motor City, which makes sense why they're called the Motor City Machine Guns. It consists of the two members, Alex Shelley and Chris Saban. And this team was formed in 2006, which you'll basically see in all of their logos and majority of their merch. Now, although these guys have made their rounds in a whole bunch of different promotions and winning different championships in places like Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling, everybody remembers them from their memorable run in TNA where they won a ton of championships as a tag team and even as singles competitors. And if you watch TNA at that time, you can definitely agree that they are one of the staples in TNA at that time period, at least for the tag team division. But you can also say that they are undeniably one of the greatest tag teams of their generation specifically in the 2010s and to say that anyone as a tag team is one of the greatest in 2010s isn't something to look over because i consider that as a time period that was a golden era for tag teams across all promotions because most of the teams that you like today or have liked in the past have probably hit their prime somewhere around those 10 years so just to give you an idea of how crazy and insane that tag team division was across all promotions in that decade i'm gonna give you a list of tag teams that were in their prime during that time so we're going to start off with the new day the usos the briscoes rp to jay briscoe ftr the lucha bros the young bucks the bar undisputed era which technically they were a faction but they had the tag team championships at one point in time and if you want to be real technical then we can say redragon okay we can go into team hell no the shield same applies to them diy gorillas of destiny only lurking and danny birch and the list goes on and on and on it was such a great time so to say that you are one of the great tag teams even in just that decade says a whole lot and there's some people who consider them as one of their favorite or one of the greatest tag teams of all time that is something for you guys to discuss and that's not what this video is for so despite of all the accolades and all the stripes they've acquired in the past five plus ten plus fifteen plus years what makes them a great addition to the tag team division in wwe and wwe as a whole is their ability to wrestle in a variety of styles and not just wrestle in a variety of styles but actually be really good at doing those different styles so if you want them to wrestle in like a flippity flip match that'll piss off mjf they can definitely deliver that okay if you want them to wrestle so technical that it'll make the haters of zack saber jr get pissed off they can do that as well and i'm not saying that they're on the level of zack saber jr all i'm talking about is stylistically and if you want them to do a combination of both then they can do that as well which means they could possibly put a clinic on with the likes of the street profits with diy with the bloodline so many different people We're, we can get some great matches out of these guys and despite of their age these guys can still go you got to just check out their last run in tna before where they left they done some pretty good work there so as a wrestling nerd myself okay usually when it comes to wrestlers i've never heard of i usually ask people what matches would you recommend and what are some of their best matches now when it comes to the machine guns don't worry i got you right now i'm gonna list some of the ones that i absolutely love and other people who are fans of theirs they may add more to this but i kind of want to make this list as short as possible so some people can just go ahead and just watch it today before smackdown starts so the first match i want to recommend is their best two out of three falls again Against beer money at tna uh the next match i want to talk about is their match against kevin steen and el generico who is now kevin owens and Sami Zayn at ring of honor death before designer six their match against team 3d who is the dudley boys in tna turning point 2010 
both their matches against the Briscoes at Ring of Honor, Good Times, Great Memories, and Ring of Honor Return Engagement. Their match against the Young Bucks at TNA Destination X 2010 in the Ultimate X match, which was a banger. Regardless of how you feel about the about the uh, the Young Bucks, great match. That is another one to check out. And if you want something that's a lot more recent, we could talk about last year against ABC for the, the TNA Tag Team titles, which they did lose the titles in that match, but it is one of the best matches in TNA for that year so hopefully that helps so i tried to make this video relatively short just to kind of give you a starter pack on what you need to know about the motor city machine guns before they debut tonight on smackdown so if you like more videos like this these starter pack videos let me know in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate that salute peace have a good day